to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what to pack with you to birth center. You're not gonna need as much stuff to give birth at the birth center as if you would be giving birth at a hospital. And it also depends um, on the country where you live in. Basically, it all comes down to how long are you gonna be staying in the facility. I gave birth in a birth center and a general rule of thumb is that you don't stay longer than four hours after you give birth at the, uh, at the birth center because you can only give birth at the birth center if you have a low risk pregnancy. So this video is all about really like the essentials that you're gonna need because uh, we packed a lot of stuff, I would say way way too much stuff we didn't need half of it literally so let's get into it let's do this a little bit differently instead of just taking through what i had packed i'm just gonna give you the list throughout the process of your labor that you're gonna need if you're giving birth at a birth center i'm gonna link everything in the description box below Let's just dump everything out of the bag and start from scratch. So we have our bag, <laughs> empty bag, and we're gonna pack everything we need for the labor. When I started laboring early in the morning, I just wore this bralette, um, very simple, basic. I was laboring in it, and I was giving birth at the bathtub, so it ended up um, soaking wet. You're gonna want to pack a fresh bra with you after birth. Now, um, I don't think you need particular nursing bra. I did take a nursing bra as the, the number two option after birth, but I didn't really need it because you're not gonna nurse your baby on your way back unless you're like living um, two hours away, <laughs> you know what I mean? So you can just have like a fresh, clean bra instead and then just change in a nursing bra when you get home. Unless you give birth at a hospital where you stay for more than one or two days maybe, then you're gonna wanna pack a nursing bra as well to wear after your baby is born. I can recommend, and I have these, um, Kindred Bravely nursing bra. They, this one is the black one that I wore after um, giving birth to Elias. They have different colors. They have the black one, light pink, and a nude color. So this is gonna go into a birth bag for now, but this bralette is not gonna go into birth bag because I wore this during my labor. Next, what do you wanna wear? I wore this nice black gown it's comfortable you can you can close it you can open it however you feel comfortable you want to have accessibility for your midwife to check you you can of course wear like um, a loose dress or something like that but i chose to wear this one and i was wearing it throughout my labor while i was laboring at home and I didn't even change when we went to the birth center because my contractions were way too strong and close together that I just didn't see the necessity to change really. Because when I went to the birth center, it, it, it took like, I don't know, maybe an hour and uh, I could just easily throw it off and get into bathtub. So I'm gonna put this aside, not into the birth bag, because this is what I wore during the labor. So the next thing, it depends really on what your contractions are like. Because my contractions were only in the lower abdomen. I didn't feel any pain in the back. Since I didn't expect that, and most of the sources and birth classes and books talk about having this um, intense pain also in the back and teaching you different techniques like the doula hip push and stuff like that which is basically only needed if you have is contractions and intense pain in the back so since i expected that we also packed like this hot and cold packs that you can change the temperature easily 
You can put it in the freezer or microwave, uh, depending on what you need at the moment. So we packed this, but we didn't need it. But I'm gonna put this into the burp bag in case you feel your contractions in your back as well. Also, this peanut therapy ball, you can also make it on your own by putting uh, two tennis balls into like a sock and closing the end. I had this one and um, also I didn't use it because I, again, didn't feel the contractions in the bag. But you might feel your contractions in the bag, so in the bag it goes. Another thing that I packed for releasing the pain was a self-made massage cream um, or body butter that I made myself um, like a week before I went into labor. There are different recipes. This actually wasn't too good, so um, that's why it's still almost full. But this is basically coconut butter with uh, shea butter and um, clary sage essential oil. Why clary sage essential oil? Because it is known for inducing labor. And uh, this was like exclusive little jar for laboring massages. It's not recommended to use clary sage essential oils for your labor stars because it is known for its labor inducing properties. We ended up not using this as well um, during the labor because again this was meant more so for contraction pain in the back. So I'm still gonna put this in our uh, bag because you might need something like that. You can also just choose to use a regular coconut oil or even olive oil. This brings me to the next item, olive oil or coconut oil, that is gonna be beneficial um, for your baby's bum bum after he or she is born. Cause my midwife applied like a generous amount of olive oil all over Elias little bum because first poo for the baby is the meconium, which is extremely sticky. And thank God she applied this much olive oil because it was very easy to clean his little butt. <laughs> Next items for the labor were essential oils and essential oil diffuser, which I'm not gonna bring in here because it is working in another room, but you get the point. Yeah, I'm gonna show you, so. We have clary sage and uh, lavender. Uh, yeah, I really liked the smell of these two. Um, but we used both of them at home and in the birth center. I suggest maybe to have two of each because if you're using them at home and then going to the hospital or birth center or wherever, um, you might forget this at home, so just pack them separately so you won't forget them. The next thing for labor is gonna be coconut water. Lots of these, I think I, I think I drank like five of these and then in addition to a lot of lemon water and uh, water. And yeah, so this goes into the bag as well and if I had more of these I would put the side as well for laboring at home and another thing that you want to pack is like um, a large bottle preferably with a straw because it's super convenient to just stay in your position and just put the straw to your mouth instead of changing your positions to like drink from a glass so that's another tip Next thing that was huge for me were candles um, and I took this little Buddha where you can put a candle here and um, I didn't really notice it at the labor but when the labor was over and when uh, Elias was born it was really nice to look at look around the room and see all the lit candles that, um, that Paul's lit. Maybe you have like a different item you want to take um, something meaningful and that, that makes you feel at home so this is something i took as well um so i will put this in the bag as well okay i think those are all the items for the laboring part 
let's imagine that you just gave birth to your baby and now is the question what do you need after birth there are two other items that are usually in the hospital bag videos that we also packed are these um, socks with like these non-slip um, dots I packed these as well but I didn't use them I use them at home now so um, maybe you like to wear these while you're in labor because they are really warm and snuggly and I was extremely cold while I was in labor another thing is slippers but I didn't use slippers as well I packed these like simple water resistant slippers probably if you want to take like a shower and you want to be able to get out of the shower quickly and uh, not step on a cold hospital or birth center floor then yes you're gonna want this but I didn't use the slippers because we went to the birth center basically at the very last minute and I didn't change my Birkenstock slippers that I was wearing when I arrived at the, at the birth center so I'm gonna put these aside because I didn't use them but um, probably won't hurt to pack them as well uh, if you end up going to the birth center or hospital or facility faster and I think in general if you're giving birth at a hospital you're gonna want to pack slippers as well because you're gonna stay there for more than one day but yeah since this video is more so for the birth center uh, which I experienced then I'm gonna put these aside because I did not need them all right let's imagine that we just gave birth to a baby and now the question is what do you need after that i could have just used this gone again that i used in labor since it was all okay but i did find really comfortable to have this kind of like a um, long shirt with buttons um yeah, so, but I wore this for like a very short time, maybe maybe half an hour max. Because right after I gave birth, I was just, I went to the bed and then we were just warmly snuggled up in the bed uh, while being like all naked. And when we were ready to, to um, pack our stuff and leave, I could have just um, dressed in my going home outfit <laughs> and skip this step as well but again if you're giving birth at a hospital you will definitely need something like this because uh, in addition to nursing bra because this is a very convenient way how to feed your baby you and also at home I used this a lot when we were at home all the first days first nights it was super convenient to have this kind of um, pajama shirt because um, you can easily access your breasts without a hassle so again I'm gonna put this aside because you I didn't really need it I just used it because it was new and uh, <laughs> I wanted to put it on but not that I needed it um, all right then a big one is this little dude I don't even know how it's called but it's basically you put in warm water and um, when you take your first leak <laughs> after your birth um, this was very relieving so when you when you're peeing this is a lifesaver and this was a lifesaver throughout my at least first two weeks postpartum because it stings and thanks to this little buddy it doesn't sting as much so you got to have this one I'm gonna link this um, also below just like everything else and it comes in this nice little pouch so you can use it for traveling and I think this is a nice item just in general for traveling because um, just to, just to Keep yourself clean. This is not only for postpartum, I think this is a good item to have. So yeah, this goes into the bag. And then a related item. I know. 
adult diapers. This is gonna be your sexy postpartum underwear. So this is how it looks. Always has um, even put a little a bow here, <laughs> a bow tie, so you feel more cute. But yeah, this was um, my sexy underwear after giving birth. But this was the best and most convenient way how to manage postpartum bleeding. Um, which obviously starts right after you give birth. And you of course can go with uh, these granny panties as well. Um, and with like large pads. But I think the most convenient and um, easiest way is to just honestly go for this underwear and don't even bother changing the pads and worrying if you have any leakages or anything. Just get these and have your peace of mind. Um, your husband will understand. When the bleeding wasn't that strong anymore, I used like these granny panties and large um, pads. So depending on what you choose, let's put these along with pads um, into the bag. Now for the baby. Let's get your little one dressed up. We unfortunately made a mistake and this is why I'm giving you this tip so you don't make this awful mistake yourself. But unfortunately it was too small. I even made like these photos where first clothes laid out and with, with the belly and then I wanted to make the picture with the baby and then oh. yeah so that was our mistake um, we did put on this hat but it barely even fit him so yeah moral of the story pack another outfit for your baby we did have some extra clothes but it wasn't like a very cute outfit because we were just really focused on this one we ended up dressing him in this one which is of course also very cute but you can see the difference in the sizes and yeah like what Elias was much more bigger than this one so yeah pack two cute outfits for your little one and another thing you need to put two sizes of diapers i only have one now because we uh used obviously our like first sizes of diapers but back two sizes of diapers this was too big and we had like a little um a little smaller one so we ended up using the smaller diaper two outfits in two sizes one smaller one bigger and two sizes of diaper goes into the bag another thing you want to pack is like um blanket for the baby that you maybe put over the car seat depending on the season we took this nice little knitted blanket and he loves it ever since we used it like so cute this little ruffled edges this goes also into the bag and i was wearing this linen dress as my um going home outfit so that's another thing you want to add um some a cute yet comfortable going home outfit is what you will want to pack for yourself uh, as well as your birth partner um yeah and another thing that i packed was like a comfortable um, like joggers or pants but I ended up not wearing them because I just wanted something really loose like really comfortable and basically like wearing um, a large t-shirt <laughs> and uh, yeah so I'm gonna put these aside but again if you are staying in your facility longer you, you're gonna want to pack um, more clothes more options more cozy ones and um, yeah so this 
dress goes or whatever outfit you choose goes in two of the bag. Then another big one is cords. Cords and chargers for all your devices, whether you're taking a camera or a phone or whatever. Um, take everything you need to keep yourself powered <laughs> up and um, be mindful of that. So this also goes into the bird bag. And then another item that I didn't pack but I should have because I was extremely cold while I was in labor is my warm fleece gown. But I ended up Instead of this one, I ended up using um, different warm blankets at the birth center and at home. I don't know why I didn't like even thought about wearing this one while I was laboring at home because I was super cold. Uh, I was just in, in the black one all the time. So, yeah. If I could go back in time, I would put this also in the, the bird bag. So, what we um, have is a full bag this size and that is all you need honestly uh, pack some few few snacks here like maybe two or three protein bars if you're giving birth at a birth center where you stay only for a few hours and yeah you have finished packing your birth bag with me <laughs> so yeah that's all we have of course, it is better to pack something extra than if you're missing something that you really, really need at the birth. But honestly, um, you're going to be so preoccupied with all the process and contractions and everything that I don't think you will be missing anything besides this. Don't overpack because my husband, Paul, was carrying so many bags and so many stuff. We also had this like huge speaker with us and he was... At the end he was just exhausted we had to go twice back to the car to get everything inside when we came back from the birth center and it just it it felt like an unnecessary hassle so don't overpack i think this is all you need honestly and i'm also gonna leave a link to free pdf documents below with all the items listed in there you can save it you can leave it for later you can share it with your friends yeah if you find this video helpful and if you enjoy our channel give us a thumbs up support our channel subscribe share it it means a world to us and here paul's is changing diaper for alias <laughs> all right guys that's it for today and see you in our next video